Today on Set Free, we're looking at products that you can think about for Father's Day. Father's Day is coming up and those fathers, those father figures in our lives, those men, those precious men who have been that circle of protection to us and who have allowed us to flourish and be all God wants us to be, what can we give them? People think that because we're women at risk and we have jewelry that we don't have anything for men, but we do have a few things that are really fun for men. One of the things I love is our ornaments. And specifically, we have these adorable little globe ornaments. These are hand-blown Pyrex. This is 14 or 18 karat gold painting on here. And they have the little globe paint it on there and you can just sit it on a table. It makes a great thing for your dad's desk. You can hang them and we have them in different colors. And so that makes a nice gift for a, men, a man's desk or your brother's desk or someone in your life. And then we have these journals. Now let me explain, first of all, where these journals come from. Maybe your dad doesn't journal, but I have an idea for you to get creative. These journals are made with leather. They have this little flap here that you can put your pen in that holds it shut. And then you open it and it's got um, special recycled paper in it. But these are made in Eastern Europe. So one of our partners there discovered that children, when they age out of the orphanage, the government orphanages are asked to leave the orphanage at 18. They're put on a bus and sent to the city. And many times the orphanage will call the trafficker who picks them up at the bus stop and immediately traffics them into sexual slavery. Women in Eastern Europe bring the highest price on the slave market because sometimes they're educated. They, um, for a lot of reasons, they're beautiful. But one of the horribly heartbreaking things about these children is we discovered that they're often sold from cages. And that was just devastating. So our partner takes these women in, gives them a safe place, gets them scholarships to go to college. Recently, one of them graduated and is in banking now. Another one just graduated and is a physical therapist and is working with special needs children in orphanages in order to give back. So these are precious journals made by those women. You can see that the binding there, they stitch them by hand with thread. And what I'd like to suggest to you is that you buy one of these journals soon and that each of you write a note to your father in there. Write a note, fill the pages, Every anybody you know in your family or you, fill the pages with the things that you love, respect, and appreciate about your father. And then keep this journal and each year add to it so that it's a journal of the things you love about your father. And I think that personally, I know our dads have everything. What do they need? And yet they need to know from us what we love about them. Not too long ago, I wrote my own father a uh, several page letter with the things and I put it in writing because I knew that he would forget and I wanted him to be able to read it over and over and over again. And this is something that can sit by their bedside, sit where they read, and they can just look at your words and see what you appreciate about them. And so um, that's just one little thing we offer for you, that we have these beautiful leather journals. We also have cards, and you can look them up online, cards for fathers, and fun cards, silly cards, happy cards, and um, they're all fair trade. And you can pick the one that suits you. So it's time to stop and thank our fathers for being the kind of men that every little girl and boy needs. My favorite card that we sell is the one for men. And it talks about the fact that those men in our lives who are heroes, those knights in shining armor, those fathers, uncles, brothers, boyfriends, mentors in our life 
who are the backbone of so many families who work hard to support us and give us the life we want, help us get an education and just help us fly and flourish and dream. So this Father's Day, think about your father and write him something in a journal. Get all your siblings to write, even if it's a silly thing, even if it's a memory, even if it's something you tease him for, even if you draw him a picture, press a flower or press a leaf in there or press some memory. Maybe he took you hunting as a kid. Maybe he took you fishing or camping. Uh, my father took me uh, as we were traveling home from Asia where we lived because he was a doctor there. He took me to the world famous flautus because I was playing a flute. And he took me to that in Austria and he said, Becky, this is what you can be. And just the fact that he would give me a dream that was so high up, he believed in me. So write something you love about your father and thank them. Look for our cards, look for our um, globes, journals, whatever you see that you think will work for him. Or buy him bath salts and give him a foot massage. So from our house to yours, this means war.